will be pissed, but I've got to go face him. Well, first go see your steward before the villagers decide to burn me at the stake. I mean, if you want to, Vulcan. It'll probably turn into an interrogation pretty quickly. Try not to make it worse for yourself. Don't kill anyone, for starters. Especially if he's wearing red. That seems reasonable to me, for the moment. You still didn't manage to blow yourself up? Pretty quiet around here, huh? Yeah, too quiet for my taste. Do you really imagine the dead walkers are going to forget about this place just because this swamp is dangerous? No, but it'll slow them down, and maybe we'll see them coming. Ha! <laughs> you can bet your ass they're already here. There's something in the air that stinks, and I don't mean the locals either. I feel like the Ice Lords are watching us, right now. I have a few questions for you. How are the blades holding up? We left some blood on the stones in the temple, but most of the company got away all right. But if we don't get some new recruits soon, things are gonna get serious. The captain has sent some men ahead to Karaldas. I hope they manage to pick up a few recruits, and they're not too scabby. Isn't there anybody in this village worth recruiting? See for yourself. There isn't a single man amongst the guards or the refugees that knows which end of a sword you're supposed to hold. We'll just have to wait. And be careful. So you made it out of the temple then? I did. I suppose my time's not up yet. I guess that'll cause more gossip amongst the youngsters. The eternal survivor. My balls. There are some days when I wish it would be over. Yeah, right. You're gonna outlive all of us. Do you think we can win against the Deadwalker army? Against the Deadwalker army? No chance. Now, the Ice Lords? That's another question. What do you mean? Only that sometimes you have to try to chop off the head, you know? That bunch of walking corpses wouldn't be any trouble at all if there was no one to guide them. I guess you're right, but I don't think that makes the task any easier. There was a time way back, you know, when there were so many of us in the company, several hundred, that the captain decided to delegate, so he chose two lieutenants. Those two assholes fought over how to share out the men for weeks. They both wanted to take the best men for their group. And the result? We had our asses handed to us by an army that was hardly more numerous than we were. I guess what I'm trying to say is that the Dead Walkers are just the same. You've got seven bosses, and each one of them wants to control everything. So, if we could pit them against each other... Now you're thinking straight. I don't know how we could do it, but I'm sure that it's possible. See you later. I'd rather stay here, if you don't mind. Why? You're not planning to give me the slip by any chance, are you? I don't like the idea of getting locked up by the Red Scribes again. It might provoke me into a loss of my legendary restraint. And I'm sure that you don't want to have to scrape another one of your employers up off the ground. Hmm. 
Well, it's true that I prefer they remain in one piece. All right, fine. You can stay here. But if you get it in your head to run away, I will find you. And you won't like it when I do. I'm trembling. But yes, I'll wait here. Did you find this famous beast? Found it and killed it. But don't hold your breath waiting for its fur for next winter. Because I didn't bring it back for you. Excellent news. I knew the village could count on you. Actually, not so excellent. Aeolus is dead. Dead? But no, that's not possible. Uh, are you sure? When it doesn't move and it doesn't breathe, and it looks at you with an even stupider gaze than one of your guards. That generally means it's dead, yeah. I demand that you show some respect. The Red Scribes are a precious help to us here. Aeolus was a useful man, a, a good man, and he was under your care. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Your good man had a few skeletons in his closet. He was controlling this swamp beast to keep people away. He had you all fooled. Aeolus was even ready to kill his own daughter to cover up his secrets. What nonsense is this? How can you make such ridiculous accusations? Am I to understand he died at your hands? <laughs> he was killed by his own magic. I had nothing to do with it. If you ask me, the guy was not much better than the Ice Lords. And as for my accusations, I'm just telling you what I saw with my own eyes. Don't believe me, ask his daughter. She'll confirm everything I've told you. You can be assured that I shall. What do you know of this prisoner? If Aeolus held her captive, she must have been dangerous. I don't know much. Edwin isn't exactly the talkative type. Well then, you must find out immediately. As of now, she is your responsibility. I should deliver her to the Red Scribes without any further ado, yet, after what you have told me, I no longer know what to think. She will be given a fair hearing. Until that time, she never leaves your presence. If there is the least incident, I promise you, you shall answer for it. And there is no prison here, in case you had not noticed. Okay. Sounds fair to me. <sighs> However low your opinion was of Aeolus, his death is a great loss for Valvanor. He was meant to be looking into a most disturbing matter. All right. I can see where this is headed. What do you want? There is no guarantee that you have the necessary skills to handle this matter, Freeborn Blade. Even Mirana is flummoxed. What is it? An epidemic? That's exactly what I'd like to know. Several of the villagers have been behaving curiously of late. They have become distant, taciturn, and barely react to the world around them. They're just hung over. You'd know if you got drunk more often, and you look like you need to. I believe there are a few here who would know the difference. It's something else. They seem very concentrated, as though they are observing us. I feared some kind of sickness and that it will spread throughout the village. Got it. I'll slap him around a little. That should wake him up. My goodness. That's not exactly what I had in mind, but I must confess the results interest me more than the methods. Well, that's gonna be my method. So let's leave it at that if you don't mind. I'm not helping you because you made puppy eyes at the captain. <sighs>
As I understand it, some people are behaving even more stupidly than they normally do? That's right. They asked me to check it out. Perfect. I'll come along with you. Hang on. What's your interest in all of this? Is there some special reason you want to continue this investigation with me? I am trapped in a filthy village full of hateful and suspicious peasants who wouldn't hesitate one second to burn me at the stake if you weren't here to stop them. If I stick with you, it's far less risky. And who knows, if I can help you, maybe they'll end up accepting me. Okay. Fine, follow me. to ALS. I never laid a finger on him, Captain. But if you want my opinion, I think he screwed us over. So you had to kill him? That was our fucking employer. Could you not take two God's damn seconds to think about that? I didn't kill him. It was this woman, Edwin. She killed him. That's what they told me. That doesn't change the fact that that dish rag of a scribe was our client. And your job was to protect him. If he was trying to fuck us over, it's up to me to deal with that. And for a starter, where did this wee tart that's spilling out of her dress come from? She was his prisoner, in the swamp. It looks like he was trying to get information out of her, which she obviously didn't give him, considering she's still alive. All right, then. Maybe she can be of use to us. I already spoke with Aeolas' assistant. Seems he pulled the wool over their eyes as much as he did ours. They're petrified. So they've agreed to honor their contract with us. I need you to get this Edwin woman to talk. I want to know where she's from, who she is, who she works for. All of it. Watch out for the Red Scribes. We don't want to get fooled twice. Understood, Captain. I'll check it out. If you can find Hawk, tell him to get his arse back here. I sent him out on a recon mission and he still hasn't come back. Do you think something happened to him? Well, there aren't any decent whorehouses around here, so yes, something may well have happened to him. I'll find him, sir. Captain, have you had any news about Hawk? Are you trying to be funny? I sent you to find him. Is that demon of yours eating away your tiny brain or what? I'm leaving.
Hey, Falcon. Over here. I came across this enormous creature. It's an absolute monster. You've never seen anything like it. Oh, I'd love to catch it. It would make one hell of a trophy, but I'm not sure I can take it down alone. You feel like lending me a hand? You know the captain's looking for you? Fuck the captain. Oh, come on, he can wait. The beastie out there can't. It could lose itself in the mist at any moment, and we'd never find it. Okay, then. Considering how excited you are, I'm kind of curious to see the thing. Come on, let's go. Ah, yes! I owe you one. Come on! your help. I'll get back to my patrol. Tell the captain not to worry about me.
Vulcan, I do love our little chats, but shouldn't you be doing something? Pop will finish up his recon and head straight back. Don't worry, Captain. You've been working for me long enough to know one thing. I never worry. He wanted the Freeborn Blades to help the villagers. Is that still happening? As long as we have to stay here, yes. Why? Have you heard about these villagers who are acting strange? Yes, I've had reports about them. The whole thing stinks, if you ask me. Take that one over there for me, sir. The one giving me the fish eye. If we weren't stuck in this place, I'd go over there and put his lights out. I've asked Buffalo to keep an eye on them. If they start getting squirrely, he'll give us a heads up. I'm leaving. Captain tells me that you're keeping an eye on the villagers that are acting weird? Yes. Look at them. You see that couple? Take a good look at the husband. I've seen livelier zombies. It's like he was dead inside. And they aren't the only ones. There must be at least half a dozen of them. But what bothers me is that if you look closely, you can see they're checking everything out. But what's their problem? No idea. They look like they're turning into dead walkers, but the odd thing is how they're spread out. You see how they're placed? They can check out most of the village from where they are. I'm almost certain they're scouting the place out for someone. Since you seem interested, you should go and talk to them. Look, I've marked out their positions on the map. See you later. So where have you been hiding? Heyman? Hmm. What can I do for you, Vulcan? People standing around like statues. No expression on their faces. Eyes empty. Any of that sound familiar? Of course it does. May I remind you that my assistant suffers from these exact symptoms. It resembles trauma, but so far I have been unable to bring him out of it. I'll take my leave. See you later.
Hello there. You don't like being distracted, I can see that. Obviously. this woman? Of course I know her. Her name's Agatha, and she's my wife these past eight years. Even if the old cow treats me like she doesn't know me. What happened to her? Ask her yourself. You don't talk to me no more. I know we had our ups and downs, but still. How long has she been like this? It come over her like a dose of the shits a couple of days ago. See, she, she goes off with, with Jervis and the others to go and collect berries in the swamp. And when they comes back, not one of them will talk to me. Where exactly did they go? What? How the fuck should I know? Uh, you'll pardon me, but gathering berries is women's work. But at any rate, they never go far. Otherwise, they never come back at all. So, she didn't go alone. Jervis is one of Mason's men, isn't he? Yeah, that's him. There were five or six of them. Why don't you go and ask Jervis? He should be over by the barracks. I'll have a better chance to talk to you if you don't mention me. Is there anything else strange about her, apart from the not talking? Well, she ain't much between the thighs, if that's what you mean. She don't say or do nothing. Just sort of lets me get on with it. She don't even pretend to notice what we're doing. Men, give them a piece of meat, and they're just a couple of minutes away from satisfaction and sleep. I was only trying to give her a nice moment to patch things up between us, sort of. Uh, that's not really what I was asking about, to be honest. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, hang on, there might be something else. I woke up this night, and, and she weren't there. I must have dozed a half hour before I'd gone back to sleep, but she never come back. I never saw her again until sunrise. And I imagine you have no idea where she could have gone? No. And she wouldn't say nothing to me, like usual. I hope that bitch ain't off seeing another man. That's all I need. I can't imagine why she would want to do that. You seem like the perfect husband. I will leave you now. I think we'd better go back and talk to that drunken sot who pretends to be chief of the guard. We need to find out where that expedition is going. Good day. Are you related to this man? You might say that. Miliev is my husband. I'm called Nigella. Well, uh, do you know what's wrong with him? Have you noticed anything strange about him lately? Well, of course I noticed. He's the one who's a vegetable, not me. Still, I must admit, it's been nice and peaceful. How long ago did he change? About three days ago. He went out hunting in the swamps, but when he come back empty-handed, he had that far away look in his eyes. In what way, Peaceful? Is he normally an active guy? Active? You must be joking. But it's the first time in years I don't have to listen to him whinging and complaining all day long. And I don't know which of the gods I have to thank but he don't snore no more, neither. 
You mean he sleeps soundly? Well, he sleeps less, if that's what you mean. I've even caught him sneaking out in the middle of the night, but he always comes back after a few hours. Do you have any idea where he goes off to? No, I've got no idea. Not down the tavern, and that's the main thing. It doesn't bother you at all? Let's be honest. Considering the sort of women what are still available in the village and what a rubbish lover he is, I doubt he's got a mistress. And he's hardly gonna find any gorgeous sluts wandering around the swamps. You might be surprised. You're too kind. I can't decide whether I'm flattered or vaguely insulted. Don't change a thing, you're perfect. So true. Thanks for noticing. Sorry to have bothered you. I'll go. We now know that our strange patients are going out at night. So, let's find out where they're going. <laughs>